Hello. So the last few days I had to take out my mouthpiece because I have really bad ulcer. But before I talk about that, I just wanted to say thank you to the person who subscribed to me and made me now have 17 subscribers. I got really excited, probably too excited because of that. And I just want to say thank you so much. And also I just want to drop a little hint to my dad if you ever watch this. 17 subscribers. This is a sign because at the start of this year I was 17 and if that is not a sign that you need to buy me some Milo. I don't know what is, okay? So just keep that in mind. Anyway, <clears throat> so I had to take out my mouthpiece because Yes, because I have an ulcer, and unfortunately, <clears throat> my tics have been playing up since then, because obviously, whatever beautiful magic my mouthpiece had done to my brain has now been undone and will have to be redone when it finally goes in. Although, on the plus side, my tics will probably stop instantly because my brain will be like, oh my god, relief! And so, yeah. So just, people, if you have your mouthpiece, Try to find some sort of cream that will get rid of your ulcer as soon as possible. If you get one, you might not, just if you do. Because I did have an ulcer before at the front of my mouth and I was able to use Bongella to sort of stop that from hurting whenever I put it in. But for some reason, this ulcer is in its place where this Bongella just will not go and there is just no way I can get my mouthpiece in without like it hurting. So yeah, that's not good. But yeah, apart from that, my mouthpiece was working really good <laughs> up until then and my anxiety, anything and OCD was just sort of gone. But since I've had out my mouthpiece, my insomnia came back and last night I had to sleep with the light on because I was convinced things were watching me, which is never fun. <laughs> so yeah, my mouthpiece needs to <laughs> go back in my mouth so I can get rid of all those pests anxiety symptoms so yeah that's just a little update on not having my mouthpiece in and it's not fun have you ever heard the term you don't know what you've got till it's gone that is pretty much summing up my situation right now I did not realize just how often I had ticks until they were gone for a month pretty much and now that they're back they are really back with a vengeance they're like Dude, why haven't you been ticking lately? You must tick times a million or something. So yeah, that's basically what's been happening the last two days. And I can't wait till my ulcer goes away. So, And just another thing while we're on the topic. Since I'm my mouthpiece, I suddenly feel the cold. And we are smack bang in the middle of winter. And ever since I've had the mouthpiece in... I'd walk around going to my friends, how do you live like this in the freezing cold all the time? And they find it quite amusing because usually I'm like, why do you guys have jackets on? It's boiling hot. And now that I know that's actually a symptom of Tourette's, being hot all the time, well, just revelations ensue. So yeah, um, having, <clears throat> having no... No. <clears throat> feeling the cold after so many years of not feeling the cold is a weird experience for me although it's probably why I always get sick all the time because I never wear a jacket because I don't feel the cold so i am always got the flu always always mm. and now that I feel the cold and I'm putting jackets on that's probably why I haven't gotten sick but now I have a bit of a cold now since taking out my mouthpiece and not feeling the cold anymore yeah I don't know where I was going with that but yeah thank you for watching and if you have questions about anything please ask them I really am keen to get this knowledge of this amazing treatment out there especially for people who live in Australia because so I've heard there aren't many places that are doing it or if there are places that are giving the mouthpiece out they're not widely known and I'd be happy to help you find somewhere that will give you the treatment that you deserve. You deserve it, baby. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. But yeah, so thank you for watching and see you later.